So in this lecture, we will cover the concept of pharmacodynamics. We'll discuss the definition of pharmacodynamics. We'll see what are the desired effects of a drug. And we'll also have a look at the on-target and off-target side effects of a drug. And these all topics will be discussed in the context of our main topic, which is pharmacodynamics. So let's get started. Now pharmacodynamics is the study of a drug's molecular, biochemical and physiological effects or actions. Or simply, pharmacodynamics revolves around the mechanism of action of a drug. Pharmacodynamics examines both the desired or therapeutic effects and the undesired which include both on-target and off-target side effects. Now let's explain this concept with some examples. Sulfonyl ureas are therapeutically used in type 2 diabetes to stimulate production of insulin from the beta cells of the pancreas. Now, sulfonyl ureas are widely used oral hypoglycemic drugs for the management of type 2 diabetes. As you can see in this pencil sketch, that a sulfonyl urea stimulates the beta cells of the pancreas and results in the secretion of insulin. Now, normal glycemia is the desired effect or action that we want to achieve in diabetes. Now, what are the on-target or exaggerated effects or side effects? For example, overstimulation of the pancreatic beta cells by the sulfonylureas could trigger hypoglycemia as an adverse effect. Now, notably, not only the overdosage, but normal therapeutic doses of sulfonylureas could cause hyperstimulation of the pancreatic beta cells which will lead to hypoglycemia as an on-target on-target adverse effect. It is also important to know that chronically overworked beta cells could subsequently exert negative effects on the beta cell function which may lead to insulin secretory failure with the passage of time. Now, sulfonylureas are oral hypoglycemic agents, or OHAs, which include glipizide, glycoside, glibanclamide, and few other members. Now, what are the off-target effects? Off-target effects refer to the adverse effects as a result of modulation of targets other than the desired targets. For example, salbutamol is known to be a selective beta-2 agonist, which is a well-known bronchodilator drug. However, it may interact and stimulate the beta-1 receptor present in the heart. And as a result, it could lead to tachycardia and hypertension as off-target adverse effects. So if you have some background of adrenergic physiology and pharmacology, there are two main types of beta adrenergic receptors, the beta-1 receptors and the beta-2 receptors. Now the beta-1 receptors, as you can see, are present in the heart, whereas the beta-2 receptors are located in the lungs. As has been said, the salbutamol is a selective beta-2 agonist beta-2 adrenergic agonist which is used as a bronchodilator in asthma. Now it is also known that salbutamol is 29 times more selective for the beta-2 receptors than beta-1 receptors present in the heart. Very few drugs are completely selective. Yes. You just noticed that salbutamol is not entirely beta-2 selective which means salbutamol can additionally bind and stimulate the beta-1 receptors, which is why salbutamol can lead to the off-target side effects such as tachycardia and hypertension. Further explanation to that, salbutamol 
rapidly relaxes bronchial smooth muscle and increases the air flow and thus provide quick relief of acute asthma symptoms. Now the inhaled form of salbutamol will allow more selectivity for the beta-2 receptors on the bronchial smooth muscle to achieve bronchodilation without significant tachycardia because you know that tachycardia is associated with the activation of beta-1 receptors on the cardiac muscle especially if the drug is taken by oral route which can lead to more systemic effects or side effects of the drug so finally pharmacokinetics is what body does to a drug in terms of its add me whereas pharmacodynamics is what drug does to the body in terms of its concentration at the target site its affinity to the target and a drug's molecular physiological or pharmacological actions.